moments after the jet took off. It was the first fatal flight for one of the world's fastest commercial jets. Good evening, everyone. I'm Frank Fraboni. Sandra Hughes has the night off. Our top story tonight takes Paris, where 113 people have lost their lives. The Air France Concorde jet was taking off from Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris. Nine crew members and 100 German passengers were on board heading to New York. But around 11 a.m. our time, the supersonic jet burst into a ball of flames and then crashed into a hotel just southwest of the airport. Debris from the jet could be seen just about everywhere. Bobby Harley is following this story, and she joins us now live from New York. The Air France Concorde jet was scheduled to arrive here at New York's JFK International Airport late this afternoon. Instead, it crashed minutes after takeoff, going down in a fiery ball and taking with it 113 lives. The Concorde Air France Flight 4590, carrying 100 passengers and nine crew members bound for New York, crashed shortly after takeoff from Charles de Gaulle Airport. French police confirmed that all 109 people aboard the charter flight were killed in this first Concorde crash. The passengers mostly are German, mostly, which means the, the only thing we know is that we're one American on board. Witnesses said the aircraft was unable to gain sufficient altitude before crashing into a hotel, killing four more people on the ground. Clouds of smoke could be seen for miles as police blocked all roads leading to the scene of the crash. The plane had been chartered by a German tour company, and passengers were on their way to New York to join a luxury cruise ship, the Deutschland. On Monday, British Airways said it found cracks in the wings of some of the Concorde aircraft, but said there was no danger to passengers. Popular with celebrities and the wealthy, the Concorde crosses the Atlantic in three and a half hours. Since the first Concorde flew in 1969, it has been considered among the world's safest planes. For now, Air France has grounded the remaining five planes in its Concorde fleet. And as for that one American believed to be on board, an Air France spokesman here at JFK says he was a retired Air France employee who had been living in Germany. Live at New York's JFK International Airport, I'm Bobby Harley. Now back to you. Thank you, Bobby. As she said, the Concorde is one of the safest in the world. Here's some information so about the jet. Its first flight was in 1969, as she mentioned. It can carry up to 100 passengers, and it can reach speeds up to 1,400 miles an hour. The jet was designed for transatlantic flights. We'll have to wait. Psychiatry, one drink every day, protects the brain from strokes as well as aging. That includes a lower risk of Alzheimer's disease. But just like it is with the heart, too many drinks a day will kill off brain cells and clog up blood vessels. Saving for retirement has never been more profitable thanks to the power of tax-free growth in IRAs and especially 401ks. But if you don't earn six figures, can you really retire with a million bucks or more? In this Two Wants to Know Money Saver, some free advice from a millionaire who knows firsthand the answer is yes. Nudo Wasco and his wife Pat never earned more than $60,000 a year. They put five kids through college and paid for a mortgage yet they still managed to retire early thanks to the power of tax-free saving. I started my IRA in the mid-70s when it first came out. I started my 401k plan in the early 80s when it first came out. And uh, I've always invested the max amount that I could. Their total investment, about $200,000, yet their retirement fund is well over a million. I was very aggressive in the beginning because I realized the money was going to be in there for 20 years. Iwasco stayed diversified though to make sure he was covered in market downturns and then he watched his funds grow and grow. You don't see the the big change in the beginning but when you've been in it for 10 years and you be aggressive now you're seeing your money go in in several years from a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand and from two hundred to four hundred thousand and that's when it's amazing. Iwasco says he's also amazed at what he learned along the way Tips he now shares with other investors in his book, The 401k Millionaire. Well, the rules I learned were start as early as you can, and even if you can only put a little bit of money away, put it away because it will grow. Uh, max out. Put as much in those tax-deferred plans as you can. And never take that money out. As long as you can keep it in there tax-sheltered, leave that money in there and let it grow tax-free. LaShell Yates, News 2.
Two more things to keep in mind that Awasco says made him a millionaire. Be aggressive as you invest and learn as much about investing as you can. In the early years, you don't have to know that much, but as your nest egg grows, you're managing more money, and that's when uh, you've learned what you've learned really does count. Time right now to learn what's going on.